In this section, we'll use Documentum Administrator to configure a Documentum work queue where tasks related to the handling of insurance claims can be held for processing. A work queue is a Documentum construct that provides a list of all available tasks for process that are waiting to be completed by task processors. To access a work queue, a task processor must be a member of the queue. Once a user is an active member of the work queue, they can start to work on pending tasks. Based on their role, they can either access the work queue to acquire the tasks that seem most suitable to their skill set or function, or let the system decide which tasks are going to be assigned to them. At any time, a work queue manager can assign and reassign tasks to the appropriate worker. So, let's log back in to DA as user dmadmin with password demo.demo. The work queue management node is now available to members of the queue admin system role. Navigate to and select work queue management, policies, and work queue policies. If the CIA work queue policy isn't listed, then add it from the file menu. Otherwise, let's look at its properties. A work queue policy parameterizes the logic that the system uses to track and manage tasks in the work queue. This logic enables the system to assign an initial priority and to age the priority of the task based on different values set up in the policy. So for policy name, enter CIA. And for threshold, enter 100. For max priority, enter 1. And for the remaining numeric fields, enter 0. Then click OK. Now navigate to and select Administration, Work Queue Management, Work Queues, and add a new Work Queue category called CIA. And for its description, enter Concordant Insurance. Queue categories are kind of like folders, and we can organize our Work Queues in them. Categories can be designed to resemble our business model's hierarchy, enabling the user to drill down to different categories to locate their Work Queue and a logical representation of the organization. So anyway, let's click OK. The new CIA work queue appears in the list. So open the work queue by double clicking on it. And then from the file menu, add the actual work queue based on the CIA policy. For name, enter claims queue. For policy name, ensure that the CIA policy is the one selected. Then click OK. Click on the Zero Users link for the work queue and add members from the file menu. This time we'll add the queue manager role and the queue processor role. I should point out that it's possible to add the queue advanced processor, queue manager, and queue processor groups as members of the queue. And then the members of those groups will be treated as members of the queue. However, when debugging a process later on in the tutorial, only users that have been added directly to the queue like this can acquire a task. Click OK and log out of Documentum Administrator. We're now ready to go back into XCP Designer and continue the application configuration from there.